So, the first card is transformation. So, this is the death card. So, having left something behind, uh, you know, ended up a situation that is no longer working for you. You are now ready to move on. So, something has come to a, an end. And, you know, there's a transformation. There's a new beginning that is starting up for you here. Uh, you've also got that ten of pentacles over here. So, it looks like it was some kind of relationship, uh, you know, where you had, uh, you and the other person were financially uh, involved with each other <laughs> as far as you know it was a relationship but you're also uh, some kind of financial connection as well so this could have been a marriage or a very committed relationship where you had some kind of joint finances going on and that seems to have come to an end because you've got that as the ten of pentacles over here so uh, you know that's the end of that particular uh, family kind of situation that went on over there that seems to have come to an end You've got the abundance card over here, so this is the king of pentacles over here. Uh, so this could be you, um, you know, um, achieving as far as your work life goes. Um, you've got this as abundance. There may have been some kind of payout as well, so you, there might have been some kind of settlement after the uh, end of this particular relationship. Uh, with um, this ten of pentacles or the we are the world card, it's, uh, you know, about, it's, uh, you know, uh, a situation ending but also receiving some kind of financial um Renumeration and with this abundance card, it looks like you may have received some kind of payoff, some kind of uh, settlement as well. Um, but it's left you uh, quite financially independent, uh, and you know you're you're not um, uh, in lack. Let me put it that way: you're not in lack, um, and you know you're uh, you um, are quite um, you're getting on with things. You're not reliant on anyone at this particular moment. So in the past, you've got the intensity card over here. So um, and you've got the patience card. So you might have been doing a lot of travel. Uh, this is the uh, Knight of Rods over here. You might have relocated and changed where you live. Or you might have been doing some foreign travel, some overseas travel. And uh, you may be working, um, you know, and traveling at the same time. So this looks like there was there's a lot of movement. Uh, you're not uh, stuck in one particular place. So, you know, you've got a lot of freedom uh, in your hand right now. You're waiting for things to happen. Uh, this is the patience card over here. So uh, it seemed like, you know... Um, you invested a lot in this relationship and there were, were no rewards. And as long as you waited, uh, nothing came to you. So it seems like uh, there, there wasn't a payoff from it. So whatever time, effort, energy, money, love, whatever you put into that relationship did not pay out. And, uh, you know, this has left you feeling, uh, you know, a bit disappointed. But now you've got your freedom and, you, you know, it seems like you're taking that freedom and you're, you're, you're traveling quite a bit with it. So going into the future, you've got the friendliness card of you, which is the Two of Cups. So it looks like there's some kind of new relationship, and it's a very stable relationship coming in for you. So it might be a very good friendship that comes in, or a very, very strong uh, relationship with somebody, a romantic relationship. And, you know, you can see two trees growing entwined. So it, it looks like the two of you are, you know, uh, or the relationship will start off with the two of you getting along very, very well, but also, you know, on the same page. So uh, it looks like something brand new is coming in. And you've got the integration. So whoever this person is that you're going to be meeting, you're very balanced. There's a yin-yang balance going on over here. And, uh, you know, this person brings uh, stability into your life as well. And, uh, you know, um, brings healing as well. So a, a very, very good, strong connection coming in for you that's going to bring balance. Um, and, you know, it's almost like you're like two halves of the same person. So you are very, very connected this new relationship that comes in. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Art Nouveau Tarot. Okay, so whatever's happened, um, you know, that relationship, um, not so good. It's been a lot of fighting and arguing and, uh, you know, 
maybe uh, you're feeling a lot very humiliated, also, also feeling as though your power has been taken from you. Uh, it seems like um, it's a very, uh, this person is very manipulative, um, very, very much a bully, um, you know, and they are disempowering you at this particular moment. So, you know, whatever that relationship is, if you're involved in it, it seems to be a rather unhappy relationship and there's a lot of arguments and fights going on over here uh, you know maybe a lot of verbal threats going on because the swords is about verbal abuse that is going on so you've got the nine of pentacles over here crossed by the queen of cups so you are trying to get your independence back again uh, with the sign of pentacles you're trying to turn your back on this particular person and you're trying to work uh, on getting your financial independence you're trying to break f break free from this person and get your financial independence whatever they're doing to you is causing a lot of upset you've got this queen of cups over here crying a lot and feeling very miserable very lonely very upset uh, so uh, this is what has come out from um, this physical and verbal abuse that you have been going through. So you are trying to find yourself again. The sign of coins, you are trying to get your independence, your financial independence back again. And, you know, you're trying to get out of that situation as well. You've got the six of uh, rods over here. So maybe you all had some reconciliation going on in the past. Um, you know, you are put aside your you put aside your differences and you decided that you're going to reconcile whatever problems you had. You're going to set it aside and, you know, you were going to make it up and you're going to be victorious in that particular relationship. So this is what happened in the last year. But it seems like, you know, that didn't work out because, you know, you've got the hermit over here. You've ended up spending a lot of time by yourself and maybe you've now changed your focus and put it onto your work. So the hermit is about, uh, you know, uh, being alone. So spending a lot more time by yourself. So maybe that particular reconciliation did not um, work out and you've ended up being alone or that person has ended up leaving you alone and, um, you know, or leaving you to your own devices. And you've now had to focus a lot more on yourself or focus on your work quite a bit. But you're definitely spending a lot of time by yourself. You're very isolated right now. Now, you've got the Empress card over here. So you want to achieve. So you are planning on, uh, you know, focusing on uh, getting that independence back, getting back your power back in your hand. With this Empress is, you know, taking rulership back again and also getting achieving uh, independence uh, through financial means because this is a card ruled by um, Venus. So Venus rules your personal finances as well. So this is what you're trying to aim for. This is what's in your mind. You are now very, very much focused on getting that financial independence back again. Now you've got the anything can happen card going into the future. So your future and your fate is all in your hands. And you can manifest anything you like, but everything is up to you. So, you know, fate is not going to decide what happens to you with anything can happen card. Um, this is an uh, extra card in the deck. Uh, it actually shows that, you know, it's up to you to change things. Um, and you must rely on your intuition on, on doing that. So what's going on with you? You and the person that you're involved in don't agree on anything. So therefore, you can't establish anything at the moment. So you can't build a future together because you're always, you're probably always quarreling about things. And it might be doing, um, might uh, be to do with finances. Maybe you're always fighting about money. Uh, you know, maybe you don't, you know, um, maybe um, you don't get along as far as uh, financial, um, the financial aspects of that relationship goes. And, you know, you're always, uh, you're trying to work and maybe this person's not agreeing with what you're doing or uh, maybe, um, you know, one of you is not uh, uh, putting uh, a lot of money into the relationship. But there's some kind of financial issue that you're always fighting about and you all do not see eye to eye about that. And maybe this is why the verbal abuse has happened. So what's going on uh, around you? Uh, maybe this person has walked away from this particular relationship uh, and you know, this is the reason why you have been left by yourself. So something didn't happen. Uh, either you walked away or they walked away, but this is what's going on around you. So it might be that uh, they've abandoned you and left you to your own devices and left you alone to fend for yourself. So this could well be the case. Maybe they've even left you, maybe you have children together and maybe they've left you uh, to sort out, um, you know, all the responsibilities in the home life as well. But it seems like there's some kind of abandonment issue that happened uh, and it looks like it might be the other person that has walked away from the relationship. 
So uh, in your hopes and fears, uh, this is what's going on. There is that power struggle that is going on between you and this person. Uh, you can see them fighting over this particular rod, who's in charge. So maybe there's those issues that are going on, who wants to take charge or who's in charge of the situation, and therefore you are not seeing eye to eye. And like I said, this power struggle might be just due to money issues or or because of, you know, um, um, not being able to, uh, you know, handle finances, joint finances together. Uh, and this has caused that person to leave you alone. And, uh, you know, there's still that power struggle going on. You're, you're very worried. Um, you know, you don't want to get back again into that relationship where, uh, you know, you're feeling as though you are being compromised as far as, uh, you know, them taking advantage of you. So it seems like this person is very abusive uh, and there's that power struggle issue. They, they, they don't allow you to make decisions. So going into the future, you've got the King of Staves over here, uh, the Seven of uh, Rods, and the Devil card over here. So the King of Staves, um, you know, it's talking about you taking your control back again. Now, you could well be dealing with a fire sign person. So this could be Aries Leo, Sagittarius um, energy that you're dealing with at the moment, who is very dominating. They don't really give... Uh, two hoots about what you feel uh, because with the king of staves you know they're not the most sympathetic of people and they're not people that you can emotionally bond to so you might be having that kind of problem with this person and they're a bit on the aggressive side as well so uh, this could be the energies that you are dealing with they don't really listen and they want to do their own thing um, and you know they're not somebody that you uh, that hangs around too too long maybe if this person moves or travels quite a bit as well so they're not very very stable or very very reliable and that might be the energy that you're dealing with at the moment so uh, you've got uh, the seven of uh, rods over here so they might be a very dominating person as well you know taking control and trying to bully you around with the seven of so uh, of rods it's to, uh, you know calling for you to stand up for yourself so you need to defend your position you need to defend yourself and you need to stand up for what you believe in against this particular person uh and take your control and take your power back again in order for you to uh you know uh move forward so in order for you to get unstuck from this particular position, you need to stand up for what you believe in and get that confidence back again. Now, this relationship is a very toxic relationship. You've got the devil card over here. So this person that you're dealing with, this energy that you're dealing with, it's a very fiery energy in itself. It's also very dominating and, you know, a very manipulative kind of energy. And it also makes you feel very depressed. So this whatever's going on between you and this person is causing a lot of, uh, you know, you're feeling very um, disempowered. And you're feeling very controlled. Maybe this person manipulates you quite a bit. But it is time for you to stand up for yourself. You need to take control of that situation again and get your personal power back again. And, um, you know, because you all been having financial issues uh, with each other, it seems like, you know, you are trying to get that financial independence back again. But it's all going to rest in your hands. So you need to act with confidence and make a decision about what you want to do. Uh, once you decide, uh, then you'll be able to move forward in a positive direction. It seems like, you know, they're not the most reliable of people and there seems to be some kind of abandonment going on over there. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. So you've got the two of Ariel over here, so it says it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once and making work fun. So it seems like you are focusing a lot on your work and you are, you might be doing two things at the same time, but you are uh, really, really busy. You're trying to get that balance between your work and your home life as well. And you're trying to manage your finances, it seems, with that two of Ariel. Then you've got the Knight of Ariel over here, which says there's much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Uh, being watched over by somebody kind. So you're going to be focused a lot on your work at the moment. So uh, even though it's going to be slow working, hard, um, you know, you're moving very, very slowly forward in your career and you're working very, very hard, you will achieve your goals as well. Um, and, you know, you just need to be very, very organized. And, um, you know, as they say, you need to make a detailed plan about what you want to do and set some future goals. But it looks like, you know, that work is steady. It's not good. You know, you're not up and down as far as your work goes. It looks like, you know, you're not once you establish yourself, you'll be able to reach your goals with this Knight of Ariel. Then you've got the two of Michael over here. It says it will be much better if you make a decision over analyzing the problems and find a compromise. So, you know, you need to make some kind of decision about what you want to do. And like I said, you've got the anything can happen uh, card in your spread here. 
which is showing that it's going to be up to you. And whatever you decide to do, you are going to achieve your goals, but you're going to have to make some kind of decision in order for you to, prob uh, to move forward and in order for you to solve that particular problem. So whatever is going on uh, here with you, you have to make some kind of decision uh, and you're going to have to, you know, your work, uh, you will achieve as far as uh, work goes and you will get that financial independence, uh, but you need to make a decision that you want to, um, you know, what you want to do about this particular relationship. Do you want to continue in it and still feel disempowered or do you want to just, you know, um, cut it out of your life and move away and be completely independent of this person. Because, you know, it seems like maybe they go away and they come back because you can see this man's left this woman, abandoned her, but then he's come back again. And when he comes back, you know, uh, there's always fighting and arguing going on over here uh, because, you know, he's not satisfied. He's not happy to be in that relationship. So you need to decide whether or not you can let this person go and come back uh, or you're going to to claim back your independence and, um, you know, be somebody who takes control of that situation. You have to decide whether or not you want to take control with this two of pentacles. You can see her, you know, uh, taking control or whether you want to go it alone or you're going to keep allowing this person to come, come back in uh, and make you unhappy. So some big decision uh, needs to be made. You are feeling very controlled with that devil card over there uh, and be feeling very negative, feeling very manipulated. But it is time for you to make some kind of decision in order for you to move forward. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.